Finally, SpaceX's Starship is ready for launch and set to make history. It's been quite the process to get to this point with many setbacks and delays. It's finally time for Starship to begin its mission and explore the universe. Before that happens, let's take a look back at the five things you may not have known about this massive rocket dubbed Starship. Number 1. The Raptor Engine Starship spacecraft and Super Heavy Booster, collectively referred to as Starship, represent a fully reusable transportation system designed to carry both crew and cargo to Earth orbit, Mars, and beyond. The two-part system comprises of the top part, which is a Starship rocket standing ever tall at 120 meters (394 feet) on the reusable booster Super Heavy. Starship's upper stage is powered by six Raptor engines that burn methane as fuel, three designed for sea-level operation, and three Raptor vacuum engines optimized for use in the vacuum of space. With six engines, combustion occurs in stages, which means less propellant is wasted. The propellant tanks are located in the middle of the vehicle and contain the propellant. As Musk is known for many unpopular decisions, he chose methalox, a mixture of methane and oxygen that can generate a lot of thrust, as the fuel for the rocket. Another explanation for Musk's decision is that Mars-oriented plans needed a Mars-suitable solution, which Musk came up with through the Sabatier reaction that could be used to synthesize methane from subsurface water and atmospheric carbon dioxide. This, in turn, makes the entire ambition less costly, as using Martian resources could help reach a modest level of self-sufficiency. While the upper stages of rockets are used for launching cargo and people, the bottom stage, the booster, is where things get interesting. The 70-meter, 230-foot-tall booster, like its predecessor, will be filled with 3,400 tons of chilled methalox and powered by Raptor engines. Though the number of engines keep changing, it is safe to say that the engineers would provide more than 18 million pounds, or 72 mega newtons of thrust, which would allow the system to carry greater payloads to LEO. As a result, Super Heavy will be more powerful than the enormous Saturn V launcher used for the Apollo moon missions in the 1960s and 1970s. Number 2. Reusability When the upper stage detaches in space, the Super Heavy boosters flip over and head towards the Earth. During the descent, Super Heavy will use its grid fins to steer itself back to the launch pad. The original plan was to ignite the booster's engines in order to guide it to land on six steel legs like the Falcon 9. But Musk and SpaceX ultimately had a change of heart. From his Twitter account, he announced that he now intends to use chopsticks, a catching arm, on the launch tower to catch the booster in midair. Landing boosters on its legs is ideal only when time is not an important factor in the process. But with the current remarkable evolution of the company's next new rocket, Starship, SpaceX engineers knew that in order to achieve the new rocket's main goal of sending humans to the Moon and Mars as inexpensively and routinely as possible, they had to figure out a new landing method that could enable this rocket to be rapidly and fully reusable in just a few minutes after each landing. Just like a commercial airplane, with short turnaround times between flights, so fuel is the only major cost. Regardless of the complexity of this method, it will come with a lot of benefits. Catching a massive building from the sky will eliminate the need for legs at all. Legless booster is much better for two main reasons. Besides the fact that legless booster means less weight in the first place, which for sure will reduce the amount of fuel consumption, the second reason is the cost. Apart from saving from the fuel, cost of the legs will be eliminated. Number 3. Orbital Refilling The setup allows for orbital refilling as well as the upper stage can be inserted into a parking orbit after separation, where it can be refilled with propellant. Musk stated in 2017 that even if he is able to get the Starship to low Earth orbit without refueling, it will be able to lift around 150 tons, which is quite impressive for such a setup. Refueling would be as simple as docking the spacecraft with another Starship that would be orbiting Earth and functioning as a propellant depot. For example, in the Starship Artemis mission, SpaceX developed a new variant of the Starship especially for this mission. More on that later. Another custom variant was developed to be a propellant storage, 
or depot ship as we call it. The depot Starship will be in a stable orbit around Earth. It was reported that SpaceX would begin a series of 14 tanker launches spread over almost six months, each of which would dock with the depot and gradually fill its tanks. Number 4. Multi-Purpose Spacecraft If all goes according to plan, the structure design of the Starship of being a multi-purpose spacecraft will enable it to make super-fast travels here on Earth, carrying payloads into orbit and perhaps cleaning up space junks. This is besides its main goal of making humans a multi-planetary species. Already, Musk emphasized that you can utilize control thrusters to accelerate in the direction you want to empty to transfer propellant, which would then be a piece of cake for the mating starship for lengthy and arduous trips, which can take up to nine months to and from Mars. Musk is looking to install around 40 cabins in the payload area near the front of the upper stage, where each cabin would be able to house around five or six people that can make the starship carry people to destinations in the cosmos, including fancy planets like Jupiter, which is a long-term project. Like we mentioned, Starship will play a role in NASA's upcoming Artemis program, which aims to establish a long-term human presence on the Moon. And NASA cannot help but be intrigued by the ambition like all of us and has awarded a 135 million US dollar contract to SpaceX to upgrade its functionality to that of a crewed lunar lander last year, which is a big achievement for Musk and his team. However, it comes with a design change that lacks the flaps, which are necessary for a journey back to Earth. Instead, the Starship human landing system would remain in space after its initial launch from Earth to be used for multiple trips between lunar orbit and the Moon's surface. Number 5. Stage Separation Mechanism One of the most critical moves in the journey is when the Starship has to separate itself at some point from its booster and redirect itself to its destination. This process is called stage separation. The main purpose of it is to get an extra kick of thrust to overcome the weight on Earth and also to eliminate the mass in space by throwing the unused parts away from the payload in order to reduce the fuel consumption. With many different methods that are currently in use for stage separation, SpaceX came with a new idea, as usual. But this time may sound crazier. They somehow skipped using the separation mechanism. According to Musk, Starship will have no separation mechanism at all. Instead, at some point during the design or testing process, Musk decided that the same effect could be more or less replicated by using existing systems on Super Heavy. Actually, Musk wants to use the three C-level gimbling Raptor engines to make a small but significant rotation on the rocket within seconds before the separation, which will make Starship eject the Super Heavy away from it. The separation will happen because at the stage separation, Starship is like five times heavier than Super Heavy. So the force is concentrated on the upper stage. Then with a small movement of the engines, this creates a centripetal force, which occurs the separation to make the ship effectively float away from the booster in a straight and stable line. Then with the use of its cold gas thrusters, it can settle its propellant and from there it can ignite its six Raptor engines to head to orbit. In return for this unusual method, if it works, SpaceX can entirely exclude the development of a pusher spring system capable of pushing a 1,300-ton starship away from Super Heavy. This method is very similar to what SpaceX currently uses to deploy its satellites from Falcon rockets by spinning the upper stage end over end and letting the spacecraft just float away thanks to centripetal forces. We have always been curious to know and observe our universe by developing our technology. With the Starship, many scientists and experts predict we are going to enter a new era in space to get a better view of our universe. Let us know in the comment. What is your favorite tech you know about Starship? Thanks for watching.